introduce you to a framework that we're going to be using to see if we can engage the teams in generating ideas on how they can leverage either evolutionary, new, or radical technology. The basis of the framework is a concept called curve jumping. And in curve jumping, you take an existing technology curve and you change it. You literally jump to a new curve. Sometimes the jump is evolutionary, sometimes it's new, but not maybe radical, and sometimes it's quite radical. One example of an evolutionary change would be HTML4 to HTML5. A more revolutionary change would be the movement from SQL to NoSQL. So here's how we envision the framework being used. First, we've got this icon, which represents different technologies that people could be using. And this icon is the technology icon. So I'm going to just label it tech idea. And we'll say it's a radical tech idea, so we'll kind of put it there. The second thing that we might do is we might add a tech icon down into rest in peace. And what this represents is uh, we know this is broken. So it would be some kind of technology that's broken. Over here is the running man. And the running man represents how we can uh, jump a curve. So these are the things that we might need to do to jump a curve. It could be things like training or experiments or investments of some kind that would help jump a curve. Over here we've got an idea bin and you can put ideas for maybe you don't know what to do with. So for example maybe you've heard of a programming language called Scala and you don't really know what it is so you could put it into the idea bin. We also have arrows and the arrows might be for when the team wants to highlight something important so they think that uh, you know NoSQL is uh, mature and therefore it's safe to use so they could kind of put the arrow there or they could put an up arrow and say, you know, kind of, this is where we are. Now, the rest in peace is kind of important because I want people to be able to articulate when they think something is going to be broken completely. I also want people to be able to explore what they think is evolutionary, new, and radical, or revolutionary. And finally, the idea bin is exactly what the idea bin is for. It's a way to keep ideas. The blue post-its are there to capture ideas as a facilitator or in terms of the teams. If they have some idea that they can't make fit into the other icons, they can put up a blue post-it note. Thank you, and let me know if you have any questions.